Welcome to Cromwell, and today we are in Summerlin. And if you're not too familiar where Summerlin is, we're on the west side of Las Vegas, not too far from Red Rock Canyon. And uh, we're going to be previewing two, two model homes today. There is three, but we do not have access to one of them. So for today's video, we will be previewing two. And the first one we're going to be previewing is um, Claremont. That one is uh, 1,237 square feet. It's a two bedroom, two bath. Now let's get this started. So before I get started with the home tour, I wanna to share the amenities this community has. This community is a gated community. It has an outdoor pool and spa, a 10,000 square foot clubhouse, pickleball court, a bocce ball court, and a fitness center. So if that's something that you're interested in, wanting a community that has all that stuff, I suggest definitely checking out this community. And also this community is a 55 age plus community. So let's get started. This house right here, it does have, if you notice right here, it's not like your traditional single family home where you have the front entrance in the front. So you do have your garage on this side. And as we come on this side, let me show you, we have the entryway on the right side of the house. I love how they, they did put those stones. Definitely gives it a very modern look. And also I will be placing all the information up above about all the information about the house. So let's get started. So it does uh, come equipped with the ring doorbell. So let's go inside and check it out. So as soon as you walk in, you would immediately notice the 10 foot ceilings. I don't know about you, but high ceilings definitely makes the house look even bigger than it really is. Also on the, on the floor, you do have the vinyl flooring. And also, let me take these sunglasses off because we're indoors now. So let's look at the main part in the living area as soon as you walk in. And also guys, keep in mind that stuff you see here is an upgrade. So you can either go with the standard or you do have the option to upgrade. For example, you could upgrade to a higher end stove, also a microwave. This model does have uh, the quartz countertop and you do have your undermount stainless steel sink with your uh, chrome faucet osmosis system. And I, I'm definitely feeling the size of this island. It's, I would say it's about a, a 10 by four size island. Easy seats three, three people as you can see, but if you, I could easily see another chair going in, so four people. Also, you do have the option to upgrade to a higher end refrigerator. As you see, it is optional. And you have soft clothes cabinets. See the drawers also, see if they're soft clothes. Yep, check that off. <laughs> so over here, you know, you got a, I would say a mid-size living area. Not too big, not too small. I would say just right. And I, I, I'm feeling this how they staged this house. They made it the L-shaped couch. You got the TV you mounted on. That way you maximize the space in this area. Here to my right, we have the dining room area. Easy, easily fit in a standard size dining table. Sit up to six people. Let me know your thoughts below what you guys think of so far about this house. And also another thing, these windows right here is optional. You can either choose to have a, a just probably like a one whole window or you could divide it to two. So something to keep in mind if you want to upgrade to that. And the backyard on these, it's not in the back. It's more what I would say side backyard. And I would say it's probably from, we don't have access to it. They keep these model, they, they lock them. So I would say about 10 to 12 feet from this sliding door to the wall. So just to give you a rough idea of the size of the backyard. Okay, let's go look at the first bedroom. And this is a two bedroom, two bath. So we'll look at the bedroom number one. And 
mid-sized uh, bedroom. I do like how it has the higher doors. I, I would, these are about, well, they do have a little sign right there saying it's the doors are now six feet, eight inches. So that's what you'll get with this house. So definitely nice. It complements the high ceilings and the high doors. So very nice. So here to my right, we have a full bathroom. You do have the sub, sub tile look with the prefab. Got the tub, stand up shower. You do have a window right above, letting in some sunlight. And it does have a uh, just a single sink. I wish it did have uh, nicer countertops, but this will do for now. Soft clothes as well. And here to my right, we have a linen closet. Also, guys, real quick, I'd like to remind you, if you enjoy these home tours and you're seeing the value, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That way you do not miss any of my upcoming home tours. Now let's get going with the rest of the house. So here we have the laundry room area. These are not included, but if you want them with the purchase home, it is an option. So something to keep in mind. Back of me, we have access to the back, I mean, not the backyard, the garage, but it is locked. Last but not least is a primary bedroom. I mean, I would say it's, you know, standard size, mid size, not too big, not too small. I mean, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this something that is big enough or maybe too small? The first thing I do notice is this kind of does block this way, this path. So what this is kind of, I could kind of get, you know, king size bed. You do have, I would say a little bit oversized nightstand. So maybe that could be, maybe you go half size and you could fit it, but you know, you wake up, you know, we use the restroom and come out, especially this being a 55 and plus community. I think that's something that definitely I keep caution and probably just remove this period. That's what I would do. Okay, so you do have your dual sinks, quartz countertop. Also, you do have the soft clothes. You do have the 12 by 24 ceramic tile, and you do have the stand-up prefab shower, and it does have two little benches. I would have probably wanted a, you know, especially in a 55 plus community, at least a bigger bench. I mean, I, I, I think that's something that you could probably upgrade to get a bigger bench. Here we have the walk-in closet. Good size. So you got his because it's a smaller side and you got hers because obviously you got to give the ladies the bigger side. So you got his and her side. And we got the toilet, private toilet area. Also guys, before we head on to the next model, I'd like to remind you that, you know, we do receive calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to Las Vegas and we love it. So whether you're seven days, three months, give us a call, shoot us a text, schedule a Zoom and uh, love to help you make that smooth move to Las Vegas. Now let's go to the next home. Okay, so the next one we have is uh, Connery. And also before we get started with the home tour, on this one also, You'll have the garage on what would say the back end of the house. And you notice right here now on the opposite side is your entryway. Not like the first one we see in the garage in the back and the entry in the side. I think it just depends on how they lay these homes out and that's what you'll get. At least for that model that we just seen. But for this one, you will have the entrance on the back. So, and the backyard will be on the side as well. So this one we're going to see is uh, 1,422 square feet. It is a two bedroom, two bath, and it also has a den. And I'll, I'll lay up right here on the top of the screen all the information about this house. So let's get started with the home tour. So as, as you come in right here, you notice it does 
have a nice entryway. It does have you, you know, a covered front patio. Uh, just doesn't have the gates, which is, uh, which is fine. But I mean, you could come out here, just have your drink, read a book, just uh, relax time if you want to come out and get some uh, fresh air as well. Also, I like well, another thing I like to mention is the landscaping will come with with the house what you won't get is the landscaping in the back and i would imagine a community like this is um they would most likely the hoa would upkeep this uh this maintenance for you so before we enter the house i have to look up my code now let's go inside and take a look so as soon as you come in you'll notice on to your left you got the living room area to your right, you have the kitchen. Also to the right, you'll have the dining room area. So first, let's start with the living room area. Also, what you notice is also 10 foot ceilings. You do have the six by 36 ceramic tile. Also guys, keep in mind what you see in these homes. Most of them are upgrades such as countertops, flooring, cabinets, paint and fixtures window. So something to keep in mind. You know, mid-size uh, living room. I think, you know, it's, I like to, you know, when I see these homes, I like to just picture myself, you know, sitting here in the evening, relaxing, watching maybe the Golden Knights, you know, and the Stanley Cups, maybe some football. So let me know your thoughts, what you guys think of uh, this living room. So let's go to, I think, which is pretty much everybody's top priority. What we see is the kitchen. So as you see it, it definitely has a big size island. It's literally just like a square. I don't know. It's almost like a eight by eight, I would say. This big, nice quartz countertop island. You'll notice also it has a stainless steel undermount sink. Uh, chrome faucet. Oh, we do have some water. You also got your osmosis system. No water in that. Over here, you got a refrigerator. It is an option. Uh, you can either, you know, choose to purchase it with your home or upgrade and have that uh, with the purchase of your home. Here we have a nice size pantry. And here to my left, you have the stove, gas stove. You got your microwave. You got your uh, white cabinets with soft clothes. Also, I don't know if you prefer the white or the gray. Let very soft clothes. Soft clothes drawers as well. Also here we got the dishwasher on the island. And also, nice size dining room area. Also another keep in mind, this window right here is optional. Here by Lennar, there's specifically saying optional. So something to keep in mind. If you have any further questions, let me know. Okay, so now let's go take a look at the rest of the house. Also, what do you guys think so far of this house? Is this something that you could picture yourself living in, or maybe you need some. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the wall, guys. <laughs> okay, so here to my right, we have a full bathroom. So you got your uh, prefab tub, stand up shower. You also have the tile here in the restroom, single sink. Pretty standard uh, full bath. Here you have the laundry room. These are optional. So if you wish to purchase your home with the the washer and dryer, that is an upgrade. Here we have like a den slash office, lounge area, whatever you wish to make of it. Nice size, and you also have access of in and out of 
the backyard, which we do not have access to. Most new builders do not give us access to the backyard. So, but just, I would say, you know, easy 10 to 12 feet from this sliding door. And I would say almost a, also from the front entry to that, I would say the length of the house. Okay, so here we have bedroom number one. Very spacious. You have a queen size bed, oversized nightstands, and just look at the room you still have. I like how they did with this, uh, this dull paint. That's just some inspiration. You won't get this. This is just how model homes display their models. You just get the one tone paint. Look at this closet, guys. It's also, look at these doors. Uh, six feet, eight inch doors. So plenty of uh, storage space. Now let's go take a look at the most important primary bedroom. Also guys, if you guys are enjoying this home tour, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming home tours. Let's go. Let's not run into anything. So before we go, this is uh, in and out access to the garage. It is locked. And here is the primary bedroom. What do you guys think? Is big enough? Too big? Let me know in the comments below. But I like how it does have, you would say pretty much, I mean, if you count those two, four, five windows to let in that natural lighting. I don't know about you, but I love that natural lighting and coming in. Okay, so here we have the, so you do have carpet in the primary and over here in the restroom you have your ceramic tile. So you have the, the 12 by 24 ceramic tile. We have stand-up shower, but I mean, just in my opinion, these benches are fairly smaller than what I would think, especially being in a 55 plus community. Let me know if you guys agree with me or disagree. Also, you do have dual sinks. You got the toilet area. And let's not forget the walk-in closet. Very spacious. I just wish we would just made some use out of this wall. Like it does have it on this side, but what goes on this side? Maybe that's something I mean you could just upgrade and that way you have some more storage space, but like I mean what would you do with this guys? Just let me know well, what creative ideas you could come up with to make up for this space. All right, well that concludes my home tour. Also, if you, if you enjoyed these home tours, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and also helps us continue to grow. Till next time guys.